pretty weird that a CEO fan and a Husker fan get this group of people together on the same day that they play for the first time in the year. I regret that for sure! We have a couple of memories with Hannah and Robert that we want to tell you about, but some of them just wouldn't be complete without a little slide show to go along with it. We all know Hannah has a pretty strong love for animals, which is pretty apparent when you see her with our dogs, Jackson and Cleo. Robertson. But Hannah's love for animals started when we were very young. One day in third grade, on summer break, we decided that we should make a lemonade stand. So we set up a lemonade stand at the end of the driveway. We didn't really sell that much lemonade, but we charged like three dollars a glass, so it didn't matter that much. <laughs> so at the end of the day, we gather up and we decide, you know, we should talk about what we want to do with our money. Well, Hannah decides she should donate it to an animal shelter. You know that when you try to talk Hannah out of doing something that she has her mind set on, you're never going to win that battle. <laughs> so we donated all $24 to the animal shelter. <laughs> and if that's not convincing enough, I want to tell you guys a story about Hannah's first love, her cat Daisy. When we had cows, we had chickens. Not a horse, thank you, mom and dad. <laughs> but when Hannah's cat finally had to be laid to rest, we took her out, James and Tim helped us dig a hole. We found a headstone, we gathered flowers, and with it being Hannah's cat, we left the final words to her. So she ended the ceremony with, you are the weakest link, goodbye. <laughs> Another classic story shows one of Hannah's best qualities, determination. It was my first camping trip with the Dorsey family up in Medicine Bow, and we decided that we should take this new raft that they got out onto the lake. Well, Wyoming in the summer, you think it's pretty hot until you get into the water, it's about 40 degrees. And this particular day was like hurricane-style winds. So we're in the water, we get the raft out, and the raft had these little plastic rings that held the oars in place. <laughs> so being the Olympic athletes that we are, we decide we're not getting good range of motion with these, so we need to take them apart and just like freehand them. So we take them apart and while I'm trying to screw one of the oars back together, I dropped half of it in the water. <laughs> so I dive in after the piece of the oar to no avail because this water is not ocean water, it's mud water. <laughs> and I'm going to pull the raft behind me as I swim towards shore. <laughs> What kind of friend would I be if I didn't jump in after her to help the already declining situation? So meanwhile, Captain Hannah takes over and she oars us to shore. We finally make it and me and Haley cover our bodies in any warm thing we can find. Dirt, rocks. So this is where Hannah steps in and really takes one for the team. Hypothermia is in full effect for me and Mary and Hannah thinks, you know, I can swim all the way across that lake and go back and get help. No one knows where we are, no one has any way of finding us, so I'll just swim across and get help. So we're like, yeah, that's a pretty good idea, you should go, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> and she seems to be doing okay until halfway across the lake, hypothermia kicks in. I should take off my life jacket, right? <laughs> so me and Haley are freaking out. We're like, no, you... Ha Hannah, no! So my mom hears us yelling from across the bay and she starts screaming for help and luckily our neighbors had a boat and saved the day. So moral of this story is it's a good thing she ended up with a guy from the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah and Robert have never taken the easy road when it comes to their relationship. It took Robert a whole year to finally take Hannah on a date and when they were officially dating they decided to do long distance. Robert was always known in our group of friends for his marathon dates. His dates often involved pot pot, a movie, dinner, and bowling all in the same night. It wasn't long before he swept Hannah off her feet, and that's when the extravagant dates ended. <laughs> you only have so much money. <laughs> we couldn't have picked a better match for you, Hannah. Robert, you're patient, caring, funny. To the gorgeous bride. Hannah, I couldn't feel more blessed to be standing by your side today on the happiest day of your life. You have so many great qualities that will make you an amazing wife and a perfect addition to the Herman family. You're so smart, loving, and you're fiercely passionate in everything that you do. You've been my best friend since the day I met you. And every moment from practicing cheerleading at your house to flipping four-wheelers at mine has been even better than the last.
I knew you were going to be a great addition to our group, but I did question it a little bit when you showed up to our house with none other than the ever so classy UV Red. <laughs> and then you proceeded to spill it all over our countertop. <laughs> but seriously, you've always been someone that I can turn to for advice and friendship, and you never fail to make a bad situation better with your corny dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to welcome you into our family, and I couldn't be happier to be here and be a part of this story. I love you guys. Skybia is impossible because to me, you're everything. You've shown me what having a best friend and a sister is all about. From kicking the backseat of the beast windows out, <laughs> to fist fighting with you the night before it shocked me, and you still picking me to drive us on the bus the next day, <laughs> to eating ice cream sandwiches with you at 4 a.m. watching the sunrise. <laughs> you love with your whole heart. You're a hard worker, both as a nurse and in your life. You're driven to be better every day, and you fight for everything you believe in, even if that means being a little stubborn sometimes. I've been waiting for today since we were little. I knew you'd make fun of you. Well, but, but I didn't know that you would ever find a boyfriend that I could. <laughs> and then Robert came along. Robert, I love the way him looks at you. And you let, my, you let him buy dogs whenever she wants to. <laughs> You're the calm to her wiles and the strength on her bad days. You've been a friend when I needed it, but today I get to call you my brother. So welcome to the family. So today is just the beginning of the best days. Yeah, I love you guys. And I'm Robert, we love watching you fall in love with your person, your partner, and your best friend. We love your love and we'll always be here to stand by you through the marathon of life, the ups and downs, and everything in between. So everyone raise a glass. Here's to forever, Mr. and Mrs. Harmon. As those of you who don't know me, I am James. I am person number five. This is my fiance, Erica. First off, Hannah, you look beyond beautiful. And you look good yourself, Copper. <laughs> I remember meeting Hannah and Mary for the very first time, and I was so nervous. Uh, being a sister myself, it is really scary because I know what the damage we could do. Um, but you guys make me feel so comfortable, welcomed, and loved, and it's been the best relationship I've had ever. Uh, I love first these two girls, or James. I love you guys. Uh, when I first met Robert, I knew the way he looked at her. He had an undying love for her. Just by the way he starts staring at her, it's just beautiful. We used to work together. You and Robert got fired together. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. You're welcome. <laughs> We're together. And we talk history together. <laughs> yeah. We're conspiracy. We've pretty much everything together over the past year. It's safe to say Hannah and Robert are perfect for each other. We can't wait to continue to have many more adventures and make unforgettable memories. I've enjoyed helping Robert get out of the doghouse. That's been too many times. <laughs> but watch their relationship evolve is the most beautiful thing. Their love is truly unbreakable. And I can't wait to see them flourish in life. Hannah, you are one of the most beautiful and hard, kind hearted women I've ever met. Becoming your sister has truly been one of the most important roles I'll ever take on. I love being able to see your love grow. And Robert, you became like a second brother to me. Always keep each other and God your number one priority. We love you so much. We love you both so much. We could go on and on with stories. I'm so grateful knowing my little sister is in good hands of such a stand up. Here, there's a toast. Cheers. Plus, you don't have me, there's Adam. Uh, good friend of Rob's for, what, six years now? We've all met on my first day of college. Uh, it's been out in high school. Uh, I walk in, I sit down. I know I'm not one to talk to anybody.
couldn't think of a better person that I would want to have by his side, have his back for the rest of his life than Hannah here. Uh, for the first time that I met her, and throughout the experience of you, know, you guys grow and mature as a relationship in a relationship, you've always had that called wild spirit. You're able to bring out
will see you in the morning. Because I end up doing all kinds of projects. And it's like, well, the garbage disposal, you know, it's backing up with the dishwasher. So we got a good set around. Turns around, we got, I backed into the garage door and I had a hell of a time getting it up. Okay, Robert, I'm going to fix that for you. When Hannah first met Robert, he says, no, they didn't have a rabbit off the Robert, they can't be right. He says, his name is Roberto. <laughs> 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 I'm move over to a little description of him. We found the other day. Five things you should know about my smart ass dog. <laughs> she is my princess.